If you remember last year, I put a KFI plow on the front of the little Kubota BX, and um, it was supposed to go on this sidekick, but it never showed up. So um, I decided I'm going to leave that one on there and order another kit for the sidekick. Now, this is a six foot um, poly plow. It's got a plastic front on it with a metal framework on there. And I was really amazed. I ordered this on Amazon from a company, Mad Dog Products, and ordered it one morning. The next afternoon, it arrived by UPS. Couldn't believe that. And it comes with a specialty mount made for the sidekick. And that all went right on. And, you know, it was kind of a complete kit with everything but the winch. And you can see this is where the mount is. It goes right down there in the front with those four bumper mounting bolts. So I put the plow together. Now, you know, it's real simple per instruction, so I'm not going to show you everything. You bolt on that top rubber flap, and then you, um, you know, just pivot bolts and the springs. But one thing I will tell you is the arms on this plow are quite a bit heavier duty than the ones that they made last year. This is a new version, too, they say, and um, definitely a lot heavier duty. And it mounted fine. You can see there's where that bracket bolts on to the uh, the front there. Those four bolts in there. A little bit tough getting at them, tighten them up, and a little bit tough after I pulled them out to get them back lined up. What I wound up having to do is uh, remove those two bolts up there, so I could shift around the um, the whole front bumper assembly that had sprung a little bit when I took the bolts out. So in the end, it, you know, it really went on there, bolted on easy, and then I decided to fiddle. Instead of buying the KFI uh, pulleys, I decided to make my own. You can see I tried a piece of pipe first, stainless steel pipe, and a pulley I built. But that bent right away. But once I proved the concept, I uh, went on eBay and ordered a piece of, uh, you know, a decent piece of inch and an eighth tool steel here. And I'm just cutting it with that evolution. So uh, things amazing. This is a high carbon steel and uh, still cut it. Didn't like cutting it. You can see the flames, but it did a really good job. And that's an inch and an eighth there. Then that pulley that I made, uh, going back just to open up the center of it. And this South Bend lathe is actually older than me, quite a, quite a few years older than me, and it still runs great, you know. One of the most handiest things you ever have in the shop. So if you ever find an old one of these, they're really a, a great machine that lasts forever. So I bored that out a little bit more and just a little bit oversized so I'd have some room for paint there. You can see that in a perfect fit just about. So that modification is done. And that's a piece of UHMW polyethylene that's real slippery polyethylene and will stand up good for pulling on this. And I went over my old bridge port and had to drill some holes to mate up with the existing bumper on the sidekick. Um, first thing you do when you're drilling holes and you know any kind of good steel, especially round, you want to take a center drill and get a, a little center point there started right on the top edge of the round and then you can go to a regular drill and you know just start drilling it I don't have any kind of a power lubrication or anything I just use some spray cans of a good uh, cutting loop when I'm doing it and then you just go to the final this is a this is a uh, 516 drill I think here or 516 bolts that I used So that didn't take long and luckily my machine had enough travel on the DRO so I could just go down to the other side and you know repeat the same process putting the hole in down there. Then what I wanted to do was uh, make a flat on it. I machined the flat on both ends just so that this would mate nice on the front bumper there. And this actually, I, I have another idea for it. That's why I went this way. I'm going to use it to mount another accessory next year. So you can see it, it did take me a little time to, you know, to go through and make these up. But um, it's just something I wanted to do just so I could, you know, add another item next year. And you can get 
all the pulleys and stuff from KFI too. So there it is. I made a couple side plates there to, to kind of anchor the cable. I decided to wrap the cable down around and back to make it the winch run at half the speed basically because running wide open, um, you know, just a straight pull was just too fast and everything banged and clunked. And this worked out much better there. So there it is. This plow really does go up high, and um, you can see how nice it works. Really, no strain on the winch. It does pull the front end down just a little bit, but those new struts are, you know, made for this. So I can always crank them up one more notch if I want to, too. Uh, because sometimes when you get snow stuck on these things, they get a little bit heavier. But it's a, um, you know, it's a 72 inch plow and it's just perfect for this. And um, I really didn't need another plow, but I just wanted another plow. So that's why I put this on here. And I'll show you at the end the, re the real reason why. But you can see it really did um, go on there nice, fit nice. And a um, couple little brackets there. I did have to use a snatch block on the bottom that I bought. And I just kind of bent ears out on it and drilled some holes to mount it right there but there you can see how heavy this new KFI arm is you, the one last year had like little round bars going out this one has uh, two sizable square bars with the reinforcement so I guess uh, you know, I'll figure I'll take her for a ride around the yard and they can hit some good bumps and stuff and just see how everything handles it and you know make sure it doesn't affect the steering or anything and um, turned out no no real effect at all. The front front does ride a little bit stiffer with it on there, but you can see it. Um, no problems at all. Still handles good, and uh, looks like it's going to be a really good combination for this machine. So you can see, I finally did finish up the uh, journey that I started about a year ago. You know, it took forever to get this sidekick, but I'm real happy with it now that I've got it. So I want to just, you know, quick look back and, you know, there you can see it's just perfect for the machine and, you know, running the double cable like that really does make the speed be perfect. And, um, you know, it does sit perfectly flat when down, which is a good thing. So, you know, it really is made to, to fit this machine. And I'm looking forward to using it for some of the small, quick cleanups that we have to do here. And there you can see I put the winch button, the in and out button right there. So it's, you know, right in a nice, easy to reach place. And the little radio I put in there has really been great. You know, a lot of nice music and stuff. So pretty much I'm uh, done except for the doors. And uh, this is the re main reason I put the plow on. You can see I just got a heater for it. It's a um, 8 kilowatt diesel heater that I'm trying to figure out how to mount. So I'll be doing another video once I do get that mounted and uh, then I'll get the doors and have a heated cab on the sidekick. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.